Don't get my gut. I'm sorry. Guys. <laughs> 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 what do you think that's going to be in this for sale? What do you look for in a first game? Especially there's no pad. What I look for in the first day, I wouldn't say energy, because that's what everybody <laughs> brings to the table every time. It's most likely, it's just it's just really like everybody being on, not one accord, but like everybody locked in and having a plan, like Coach Novell told us to. He preached about a lot. So first day, it just really shows like who's all locked in, who's ready. Not who's ready, but like, you understand. Yeah, how did it feel? What did you think of that? What you were looking for and was it accomplished in that first game? Yeah, today today was very good. Even on my end, I wanted to get better at covering. As a linebacker group, we wanted to get better at communicating, and, and that's what we did. I feel like today, as a group, we did good. What has the last few months been like for you? I know you kind of weren't able to go in the spring game. You tweeted about your, your surgery, and be, but able to be back now for the start of camp. Yeah, I didn't really uh, go to media about it, but um, when I, was coming back, you know, the young I had surgery like at the end of it on my groin though. I've been playing with it since like last season. So I, I, I got that fixed and I've been rehabbing during the summer, but towards the end, I felt I started running and being able to do what I usually do. So this summer been kind of tough a little bit. Ain't nothing I see before, so it, it was good. I was still around my brothers. They kept me going and you know, D-Lo, he's behind my back every time. Sometimes I have some hard days sometimes. I felt good, so that was, it was good being around the team. They helped, they kept me going. You say it's been something you had for a while. Have you noticed a difference since you've been back? Have you noticed uh, maybe, I don't know if it's pain-free or if you moved easier or anything like that? Uh, you know, it's, I'm still rehabbing now. It's, it's not pain-free, but I feel good. I'm able to go, and that's all that matters right now. So. You 100% you think, or are you full speed? Yeah, I, I'm full speed. I did everything today. I'm full speed. From an understanding of what they're asking you to do at the position, how different is today versus day one of spring for you? Uh, I feel like today, from day one of spring, it was a lot more easier being in the film room and learning from Coach Full and Coach Shannon and Omari and D'Lo and them. So my first day of spring, I wouldn't say it was hard, but it was way more difficult than it was today. I was able to understand and communicate today. Coach Shannon talked about how you and Kaylin push each other and kind of hit it off really well. Just What's that relationship meant for you since you got here, obviously, just in January? Yeah, me and, uh, me and D'Lo, we be with each other every day. On the weekend, we be with each other. And honestly, it's just not just me and D'Lo. It's me, D'Lo, like the whole linebacker group. We go out to eat on our own, and it's just like, we really like brothers. Yeah. You're an experienced guy coming in, but how much of a difference did it make having not just one or two guys, but three or four linebackers, your teammates or veterans as well? Yeah, you know, it's always good to learn from other people. I didn't come in thinking I was better than anybody. I came in wanting to learn, and that's exactly what we did. They learned from me. I learned from them, and I just feel like during the season, we keep doing the same thing we're doing now. We should be a good dominant group. Coach Ravel talked yesterday about DJ Lundy. I'm impressed he is with the weight he's dropped. I guess I've never seen him work, and how much of a difference is he going to make for him? I, I grabbed DJ Lundy one day in the weight room and I told him like, bro, you look good. Like, I was proud of him. Like, keep working. And it's like I didn't know DJ Lundy for like a long time, but I understand like where he came from and what he looked like before. And now I see him with a full six pack, and it's just like start with my language, but it's like damn, like we're too ass. I only see him in my peripheral, so I be thinking I got him like today. I'm sorry.